on this Saturday. Severe weather alert day going on because of what's to come. Right now, all is calm, especially over the capital city here. Just that gloomy sky we've had for the past several days. It's sticking around and next week it does get better, but we've got a long way to go, especially we've got to get through tonight. We are starting to see that leading edge of rain. Our eastern Kentucky counties beginning to see this as well. You'll notice back further to the west. That's where that lightning is bottled up now. No rumbles of thunder just yet, but that is going to change here as this really this pipeline of moisture starts just to funnel in. It will stick around overnight. The good news is how fast this is going to move out as well. And that is really is what uh, is keeping our flood threat down here through this evening. Originally, we were worried about those high water spots and we still are. And that's why we have this flood watch. Now the aerial flood watch that's in effect for basically our I-64 County South and just our four bottom Southeast Ohio counties here. Everything else right now is fine. And in fact, if we hadn't had as much rain as we did earlier in the week, I think we'd be in much better shape. If you're driving along any of the rivers, you'll notice how high the bank, the water is on the banks. And that is just due to all the rain we've seen over the past several days. We have had a break today for the most part, which is good news and certainly less than we expected overall. You'll notice here under an inch on average, really the only spots that have been hard hit Pike County right here through Logan. And that is where we have that flash flood watch still in effect as well with this rain coming across. So that's the first thing we're worried about here is still the high water areas around the rivers. Right now it is still going to be on the low risk, but overall something to watch out for. What everybody's dealing with, I talked about it briefly early on, is that wind advisory. That's in effect until tomorrow evening because that wind is just going to start whipping here as it comes across. When we look at things right now, it looks fairly calm. 12 miles per hour in Elkins, 14 in Beckley, that's certainly manageable. But the further west you go, the more you see that wind beginning to pick up along that cold front here and that squall line that we call that. It's not going to be quite as defined as what we originally expected. So that's the good news there, but definitely going to be dealing with that wind gust everywhere. And you'll notice here the future cast, it has done a pretty good job of the timing of the rain just a little early here. So overall, I think it does a pretty good job showing when the rain starts to come in. Pretty much tonight, if you are heading out here over the next few hours and you're going to be trying to head home between 8, 10 o'clock, be careful out there. That's when the heavy rain comes in. You'll notice this temperature drop here as well when that rain starts to move in. This is with that warm front. So we get that first round of showers and then heading into the evening, we get that next round coming across here. Some rumbles of thunder early on on Saturday and that's when the wind really starts picking up here. We start off the day in the 50s. It just starts going down after that though. A little bit of sunshine, not out of the question, but I think we got that another shot of rain with that front. Then the wind starts really taking over here. So starting really noon Sundays when the wind threat starts, the rain threat moves out with it. That's the good news here. But overall, a lot to go over here. Just remember strong winds. Watch out for those down trees, down power lines. And thankfully, we are nowhere near the worst of where this storm's expected. North Mississippi right now is under that moderate risk. That is some severe weather potential. We're just kind of on the fringe area where those thunderstorms are expected. Not saying that it can't become severe, but the likelihood is very low right now, folks. Just watch out again for that wind more than anything. As far as the rain totals look here around the region, really Kentucky is where we're worried about and Southeast Ohio, things much more manageable than what we expected. Originally, we were seeing anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches. If we just add on three quarters of an inch, we'll be fine. We won't have that widespread flood threat to worry about here. So. Overall, tonight is the bad night, so that's why we have that severe uh, weather alert going on. The cold front does cross tomorrow, and after that, those temperatures will plummet down. Much more dry next week, and that is great news. We certainly need a break, especially Monday and Tuesday. Mid-40s with some wind still in, a, in effect, certainly, but that sunshine is going to make a big difference here. We start to dry out, and it looks like right now, next chance we have for some steady showers won't be until next Friday.